What's up my crypto legends? The price of Bitcoin finally reaching the $32,200 range. We did talk about like this small ascending wedge breaking down. We finally met the target. We actually falling lower. We can see also some volume here on the one hourly. There are some bullish divergence also on the one hourly chart. So is the price going to reverse? Are we going to come lower? We're going to talk about this in this episode. I've also seen some major trading opportunities, guys. I cannot always be here for you 24-7. I'm going to show you how to detect them so you can be yourself a profitable trader. We're also going to take a look at Ethereum here breaking out nicely from the neckline, finally reaching the $1,900 range where I was expecting some consolidation, a bounce. As you can see here, we did detect nicely this head and shoulder. It wasn't the most beautiful because the right shoulder you know, didn't have any steam at all. It was very, very bearish, finally falling to this level. Are we going to go to the $1,800 range? We're going to talk about this in this episode. It is very, very likely because of this ascending wedge that we were talking about here for the last few days, guys. Remember, if you are interested in trading, make sure to check out the Prime XBT trading platform, all right? If you use my link in the description and Bitcoin Census 50 as the promotion code, you're getting 50% added onto your deposit. You add $10,000, you're getting $5,000 on top of that to trade with, guys. You cannot withdraw the bonus. This bonus is to add to your buying power. More money, the bigger trades you can do. Be careful with trading, guys, only for experienced traders. My favorite swing trading platform because the fees are slightly lower than Prime XBT is Bybit. If you use my link in the description, you're getting the best bonus available, guys, okay? Set this, let's go straight into the video. Hello there, Andy here. Welcome back to another episode of Bitcoin Census. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I do daily TA on Bitcoin, crypto. I also do live streams. I'm going to do a live stream today at about 3 p.m. Central European time. Make sure to smash up the like button. You'll be helping me out immensely. I'm not a financial advisor. Don't buy or sell anything that I say. If you do so, do your research. Let's dive in straight into the chart. All right, zooming in here on the price of Bitcoin on the one hourly, we're just having a small little pump right over here. As you can see, currently at $32,000 while I'm recording this video. So guys, yeah, we can actually get some patterns out of the way when they play out, all right? So um, I do think that we might be coming to lower levels, but we are seeing some type of resistance. We're gonna take a look at this right now. So this ascending wedge pattern has played out already. We've met the, the bottom here of this wedge as you can see so we're going to take this out of the way i can see that we have we are creating a descending channel right over here okay because if i extend this we do have you know some fake outs right over there we had one over here and we are also now getting massively supported from this trend line of this support range all right so from these lower lows as you can see right over here. So now we are getting a massive, massive pump at this at this moment. Um, now, uh, yeah, what I'm expecting here for Bitcoin, if we break down from this, you know, channel or descending wedge, we are potentially, you know, if we break down, going to come to much, much lower levels, potentially, you know, who knows, retesting the, the $29,000, $28,000 range, you know, the breakdown from this uh, descending wedge from the support range, you know, could take us to the 28K levels. If we break up eventually, you know, the, the target is the top of the wedge, which would be at um, $36,300. Now, let's zoom in here for the price of Bitcoin because you know, we do see some massive bullish divergence on the one hourly that need to play out right now. We're going to find some trading opportunities. I'm going to show you which ones, uh, of course. Um, right, we can see, you know, the price going down immensely here, making lower lows and the um, RSI making higher lows right over here. So yeah, currently we're having a, a really, really massive pump. There's not too much volume just yet. Uh, while I'm recording, you just, we, we're pumping pretty hard. Now, let me show you here, if we zoom in on the one hourly, let's take a look at this massive green candle, okay, right over here, because this is a pretty relevant candle, okay, this means that there's been, you know, price action, and there has been some really decent volume. Remember, guys, you know, to see relevant volume, you just need to cross a horizontal line, and I would say, uh, potentially around about the 400 million, okay, is pretty relevant volume, okay, when you see volume spike, um, 
the 400 million contract approximately on the one hourly, I think it is pretty, pretty relevant. So we can see the back of this, okay, huge candle, you know, it is gonna be pretty hard to break. Let's turn it green right over here because I wanna show you some examples so you can actually you know, make some profitable trades. This strategy doesn't always work. No strategy works 100% in trading, okay? This is, needs to be clear because somebody might say, hey, that didn't work. Yeah, of course, it doesn't work always. It needs to work, it's enough to work 60 or 70% of the chances and this one actually works you know, almost 80% of the chances. Um, right, I've marked it here in green, the back of this massive green candle with this decent amount of volume, you know, it is one of the biggest here for the last few weeks we have seen, we can see some, some, some big ones here in red also, but let's zoom in here on the chart, we can clearly see that this pullback over here, look where it was getting supported, okay, from the back of this candle, let's get this red um, or green horizontal line a little bit thicker guys because yeah it is pretty relevant all right so we can see you know we're getting a bounce here straight back up again now let's zoom out and zoom in here a little bit forward we do know that this green horizontal line is from the back of that uh, volume so as soon as we broke it you know remember the strategy guys that i told you um, we broke down below it was with this red candle pretty relevant okay touching the 400 million contracts on the one hourly um you know you could do a quick scalp here right over here as you can see um and, and you exit all the way down here to the red candle the body of the candle so that's a quick scalp all right you enter you enter right over there you a little bit in negative as soon as you come back down quick scalp out all right your stop loss could be at the back here of this red candle um if you would have hold it here for several hours you could have got a um, another trade so you can hold this at a loss all right for a little bit for a few hours and then exit your trade right over here from you know the target is from the first impulse so you got the impulse the retracement you get in the trade and you're back out okay so this is one example you will be in negative a little bit guys but i mean this is what <laughs> this is what you need to do in trading you will be in negative you will get stopped out sometimes now let's zoom right over here and yeah, let's check this out, guys, because um, the, pri the price action, the charts has memory. So as soon, uh, you know, even though it uh, has been a few weeks, you know, that that price level is still pretty relevant if it's had that amount of volume, all right? Look how we've had a bounce here from the back, okay? So from when we have this retracement, we are having these bounces here from the back of this massive green candle, right? As you can see. So as soon as we break it right over here, with this amount of volume, we didn't, well, we could, you could say it is pretty relevant. Okay, I did say 400 million contracts, you know, maybe a little bit less, 380. Uh, when you see, you know, volume, you know, spiking out from the rest, okay, then you could say it is pretty relevant. So yeah, check out this volume right over here, this candle breaking out from this green, you know, back of that massive green candle with volume. We broke out of it with this amount of volume. Guess what? We retraced right onto this back, okay, of that green candle. And guess what? We had, you know, a major drop here to the downside. Uh, yeah, meeting the target, which is, you know, the target is the, the bottom bit of the first impulse. You retrace here. It is about 50, 60%, you know, golden pocket anyway from the actual impulse of this um, uh, drop. And now you exit here with a, with an incredible profit. You in, you out of the trade, guys. This is an insanely profitable um, strategy. Okay, guys, don't say it to much people out there. This is a secret for the community. It is also kind of yeah. It is the golden pocket. Just hit the golden pocket. Hit the back here of that major candle. Uh, you're in, you're out. And this is a trade, you know, it's from $32,800 approximately all the way down to $32,350. So yeah, that is a $450 trade. What is it, 1% or yeah, maybe, yeah, it's about 1.6%. So if you do a 10, 20X, 20X is fine for scalping in, out quick. Uh, yeah, you could get 20% get profit of of your actual um, uh, risk uh, your, your, of your trade. So this is 
Um, you know, I did not take this trade. I'm just looking at it now. Eventually, I do not take every single trade. I do about two, three, four trades a week. I need to see it very, very clear. But just so you can see, guys, um, yeah, that was a, an excellent uh, little scalp over there. Remember, if you're willing to trade any opportunity in the market, Prime XBT is my favorite day trading platform. It is absolutely great platform. Check out the tutorial in the description. If you use my link in the description, you're getting 50% in addition of whatever you deposit up to one Bitcoin, okay, by using Bitcoin Census 50 as the promotion code. I'm getting a small commission. You're getting the best bonus, guys. Let's go. All right, let's go to the bullish and bearish case scenario here in the short term, see what I'm expecting. Well, um, if we do manage to stay above the $31,200, uh, $31,000 range, then I am going to still remain bullish in the short term, okay? Uh, if we do manage to get a nice bounce, you know, as soon as we break $31,000, uh, it is going to be looking very, very messy. We could go to 30,000, 29,000. 29, so yeah, let's zoom in right over here because uh, we can clearly see, you know, this support of this trend line from the low lows. We didn't actually touch it right over there. So if we manage to stay above this range, then yeah, that is going to be uh, short term bullish. Uh, but if we break this range and also the 31,200, okay, which is also the support, uh, yeah, guys, we could come as low as $28,000. This is the measured move of this descending wedge breaking the support range. I don't, uh, we might see some fake outs. Okay, it needs to be a clear breakout. We might see some fake outs here at $30,800 uh, $30, range and then st come back up. We're going to see a clear breakout with some volume. Uh, let's not get too bearish just yet, okay? We are getting some massive bullish divergence on the one hourly. Let's check out what could happen if we break some certain levels? Well, guys, I already have this green uh, horizontal line, which is at the $32,800 area. If we do manage to get above, you know, that range with this uh, retracement, uh, with some nice volume, okay, this is going to be a good trading opportunity in my uh, in my opinion. We have we have seen it. We've bounced here for several times, okay. We can see some bounces there as support and some bounces here as resistance. Okay, now we are looking for scalping opportunities. Uh, long swing trades, we do not know because we are still in this, um, you know, multi-monthly sideways action. Nobody knows if it's distribution or accumulation. It is a bit choppy. So well, let's try and get some scalps inside of this area. So my take here on a nice scalp would be breaking, you know, nicely this uh, resistance point at $32,800. If we do manage to break it with some pretty relevant volume here on the one hourly over 400 million contracts, then it'll be looking pretty good to make a scalp. If we do have a nice green candle, we wait for the retracement. If the volume is going down on the retracement, we are good here to place a nice long, okay, all the way to 33,200 approximately. So that would be also another $400, you know, trade here for Bitcoin. This would be a, a quick short example of what I'm expecting. Now we can see the price actually getting, you know, pretty, pretty good, pretty good pumps. This might get heavily rejected now from this range. Guys, also um, what I want to show you that, you know, we do have this other relevant candle. We have this one over here. So we are just hitting, you know, this relevant volume. But uh, yeah, we're having massive bullish divergence. So uh, a strong reversal is, is very, very um, possible like we can see here on, on the chart. So that was the bullish and bearish case scenario, guys. I'll be doing a live stream uh, afterwards, so make sure to join in. We might be finding some great trading opportunities. That will be at 3 p.m. Central European time. Let's take a look at Ethereum. Ethereum getting a massive bounce from the $1,900 range, guys. If you remember yesterday, we did talk about, you know, this uh, this scenario playing out, okay, breaking from this, um, from this um, neckline over here. And I was saying, guys, if we do break the 1,970, I think it was approximately. We, see, we did see some choppiness. Very likely to come down to the 1,900. If you took that trade, congratulations, guys. Well, this was a pretty nice trade over there. Uh, now, we did say that this is going to stop right over here. Why did I say the 1,900? Well, just by looking at the price action right here. You know, we did see a um, massive support and resistance here, the $1,900 range. We actually went to the 1870 approximately here for, for Ethereum. So uh, if, if we lose this level, it is going to be pretty hard 
pretty hard to go all the way down to the 1,750, which is the ultimate low here from these lower regions, okay, $1,700 area. We do have some major support. Uh, as you can see here, we are getting a massive, massive bounce here from, from the 1,900. So if we do break the 1,866 now, currently is the low, I think a major leg down to the 1,800 uh, dollar range okay it'll be pretty pretty tight we are going to get a massive bounce remember guys we also still have we have this green candle with this pretty relevant volume here on ethereum if we get the back of this you know it is also going to be pretty pretty strong support so if we break 1860 i'm expecting a, a pretty good bounce uh, just above the 1800 dollar range 1000 uh, 1820 um, yeah, it's going to be pretty, pretty hard to start breaking these levels to the downside. Um, now, what is the bullish case scenario? Well, the bullish case scenario, eventually, yeah, we need to get above all the way up from the $2,030 region, okay? This is the, the major, major resistance it turned into support right over here that we finally broke out. So, yeah, we would have to get very, very nicely above the $2,030. We want to see a nice green candle with some relevant, relevant volume here on the one hourly to potentially place a small little scalp here um, on the one hourly chart, guys. So this is what I got for Ethereum, you know, just a quick update, guys. Live stream at 3 p.m. Central European time. Let's join in. Okay, join in, guys, and we'll be potentially making a live trade, all right? And if you haven't checked out the Bitcoin Census website, make sure to check it out. We've got the latest news, technical analysis. Okay, guys, it is totally free. We've got exchange reviews, so you can find out where the best bonuses and the best fees are. We also got guides here on how to buy, how to trade Bitcoin. Uh, so yeah, the link is in the description, totally free. If you haven't seen my tutorial of the Prime XBT or Bybit uh, exchange, so you can learn how to trade, there's a video popping up on the screen. Thank you guys for joining in. I'll see you in the next one.